Once upon a time, in a quiet village nestled among the misty mountains, there lived a young monk named Vishwa. Vishwa was a diligent and hard-working disciple at the village monastery. He spent his days in meditation and his nights studying the teachings of Zen. One day, while Vishwa was strolling through the village, he noticed a commotion near the village square. A traveling circus had set up its tents, and a large crowd had gathered to witness the extraordinary acts. Vishwa was drawn to the spectacle, and he joined the villagers in watching the performances. As Vishwa watched the acrobats, jugglers, and fire-eaters, he couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder. Their skills were truly remarkable, and the audience's applause echoed through the village. After the show, Vishwa approached the circus performers, eager to learn their secrets. He asked the lead acrobat, a graceful woman named Mira, how she had attained such incredible skill. Mira smiled at Vishwa and replied, Young monk, it took years of dedicated practice and countless falls to master these skills. But remember, I did not become an acrobat to be better than anyone else. I became an acrobat to become the best version of myself. Vishwa pondered Mira's words as he returned to the monastery. He realized that he had been comparing himself to others, measuring his progress by the standards of those around him. This constant comparison had left him feeling inadequate and restless, always striving for more but never truly content. Over time, Vishwa embraced Mira's wisdom and began to focus solely on his own journey. He dedicated himself to his meditation and studies, finding joy in the simple act of learning and growing each day. He understood that his path was unique, and there was no need to measure himself against anyone else. Years passed, and Vishwa's dedication bore fruit. His understanding of Zen deepened, and his inner peace radiated outward, touching the lives of those around him. The villagers came to respect him not for his comparison to others but for the authenticity of his presence and the wisdom he shared. One evening, as Vishwa meditated beneath a cherry blossom tree, Mira, the acrobat, returned to the village. She had retired from the circus and sought a quiet life among the mountains. She approached Vishwa with a serene smile and said, I see you have found your own path, young monk, just as I found mine. Vishwa nodded, his heart filled with gratitude. He had learned that life was not a competition, but a journey of self-discovery. The moment he stopped comparing himself to others, he found true contentment and inner peace. And so, the lesson of the young monk and the acrobat became a cherished story in the village, reminding all who heard it that the key to happiness and fulfillment lies not in comparison but in the pursuit of one's own unique path.